Hi, welcome to the Yale University Art Gallery in New Haven, Connecticut. Come on in and have a seat. This is Stories in Art. Please feel free to pause the video whenever you'd like to get a closer look at the artwork. Enjoy! Hi, my name is Ange. I'm a gallery teacher at the Yale University Art Gallery. Today I'm going to share a story that was adapted from a Kyogen, a brief humorous play that originated during medieval times in Japan. This story is known by several titles, such as The Cry of the Fox and Fox Trapping. Today we will be looking at a woodblock print by Japanese printmaker Tsukioka Yoshitoshi, made in 1886. The title of this print is Cry of the Fox, number 13 of 100 Aspects of the Moon. Take a close look. What do you notice? I notice what appears to be a fox dressed as a person. It looks to me like he's wearing lots of human clothing. I also notice the fox looking in the direction of the moon. As I tell the story, keep looking and see what else you notice. Once upon a time, there lived a very old and smart fox. The fox was over 100 years old and had developed special powers to transform into a human. In his neighborhood, there was a man who liked to catch foxes. The man had trapped all of the fox's family and friends and wanted to trap the wise old fox as well. The fox had been able to escape him in the past and had been lucky enough to avoid the man's traps. The fox, realizing it was impossible to avoid the traps forever, decided to come up with a plan to stop the man from catching more foxes. After spying on him, the fox noticed that the man had an uncle, a Buddhist priest named Hakuzosu. The fox came up with the perfect plan. He thought to himself, if I transform myself into Uncle Hakuzosu, the man will think I'm really his uncle. Then I can convince him to stop trapping foxes. At twilight, the fox transformed into Uncle Hakuzosu, even down to the clothes he wore. He put on a long robe with a purple border, wore shoes just like Uncle Hakuzosu's, and carried a walking staff. Once it was dark, he walked like a human to the man's house and knocked on his door. The man was confused as to who would visit him at this hour. As he approached the door, he heard the fox say, Open up! It's your uncle, Hakusosu! Wondering why his uncle was there, the man exclaimed, Hello, uncle! It's great to see you! What brings you around here so late? I've come today for a special reason, the fox responded. I've heard that you have been trapping foxes. Is that true? Trapping foxes? I have no idea what you're talking about, the man replied, trying to avoid the question. The fox, still in disguise, urged the man to tell the truth. The fox said, Many people have passed by my temple asking me if I knew that my nephew trapped foxes. Please do not hide anything from me. The fox, thinking back about his own life and family, went on to explain that trapping foxes is a bad idea and that the man must stop trapping entirely. The man was hesitant, but finally confessed to his uncle that he had trapped foxes. He explained that he found trapping very entertaining, but had never thought it might be so harmful to the animals. He agreed to abandon trapping and threw his trap out onto the street immediately. The fox, still disguised as Hakuzosu, said goodbye and left, pleased that he had been able to convince the man to stop trapping. As he was walking along, he almost stumbled into the trap the man had thrown out onto the street. Since he had always been able to avoid traps in the past, he was curious about what it looked like up close and decided to investigate. Wow, no wonder this trap worked so well, the fox thought. The man baited it with the best quality food. Feeling a bit hungry, he said to himself, 
How can I leave this food here uneaten? The fox approached the trap, but used great self-control and decided not to eat the food, just in case he'd get caught in the trap. Instead, he turned around and started to walk home as he slowly transformed back into a fox. As he walked, his head grew fox whiskers and a pointy nose. His ears turned back into fox ears. He walked through the reeds and tall grasses looking at the moon, still carrying his cane and priestly beads, as his head became more fox-like and his tail started to make his robes bulge. By the time he arrived home, his transformation back into a fox was complete, but he couldn't stop thinking about the delicious food in the trap. Later in the night, the man reflected on the strange visit from his uncle. He was confused about how his uncle had heard about him trapping foxes and why he had visited so late at night. He went outside to where he had thrown the trap and noticed it had been poked and moved around. This looks like something a fox would do, the man thought to himself. Suddenly he realized, oh, I see. The uncle that came to visit me today was not my uncle Hakuzosu, but a fox. I've been tricked. Foxes are so sly. One never knows what they will transform into. He was so mad he decided to get even. He was sure the fox would return for the food, so he decided to put even better food in the trap and hide until the fox returned. Just as the man expected, the fox did return to the trap, this time in the body of a fox with four legs, a long bushy tail, and howling instead of speaking. After pacing around the trap a few times and sniffing at the food, the fox finally built up the courage to carefully enter the trap and grab the food. The man quickly jumped out of his hiding spot and surprised the fox. After some struggle, the fox wiggled out of the trap and ran away with the food, relieved to have escaped. The man thought to himself, should I keep trying to trap this fox who tricked me? Or is it better to just leave the foxes alone? like he suggested when he was disguised as my uncle. Perhaps there is some truth to what he said. Still to this day, we do not know if the fox and the man ever met again, but we do know they both lived a very long time and always remembered that day. The end. Now that you've heard the story, look again at the print. What do you see now? I noticed that the artist has shown the fox halfway transformed into his disguise as Uncle Hakuzosu. He has a fox face and ears and human hands and feet. Take a paper and pencil and try drawing what Uncle Hakuzosu looks like as a human or what the fox looks like fully in his animal form. We hope you have fun. Thank you for joining us for Stories in Art at the Yale University Art Gallery. We hope you enjoyed listening and looking with our storyteller.